Taiwan's military has recently enhanced its strike capabilities with the arrival of the first shipment of Altius 600M loitering munitions supplied by the United States. On August 5, the island's Minister of National Defense, Chiu Kuocheng, met with Palmer Lucky, founder of Enduril Industries, the company behind these cutting-edge drones, in Taipei. The meeting was attended by high-ranking military officials, including Army Deputy Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Yang Chi Yong and Army Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Chin Chien Yi. Designed to be versatile, the Altius 600M can be launched from various platforms such as helicopters, fixed-wing aircraft, ground vehicles, and naval vessels. It carries a warhead weighing roughly 3 kilograms and boasts a striking range of up to 400 kilometers. During the gathering, both sides exchanged commemorative gifts and reviewed the successful delivery. Minister Chiu expressed gratitude for the swift completion of the project, which was initiated in 2024 and resulted in fully operational equipment reaching the Taiwanese army within a year. He highlighted that the introduction of these systems significantly enhances Taiwan's ground strike and defensive operations. Later that day, Palmer Lucky gave a presentation on Taiwan's defense technology innovation, attended by military and defense personnel. The Altius 600M is a variant of the original Altius 600 UAV platform, initially developed by Area I and now produced by Enduro Industries. This drone features a 12-kilogram airframe with payload capacities ranging from 3 to 7 pounds, and it can stay airborne for up to 4 hours. Its multi-domain launch capability allows deployment from a variety of platforms including UH-60 Black Hawk helicopters, C-130 transport planes, fixed-wing drones like the XQ-58A Valkyrie, ground vehicles, and naval vessels. The system supports multiple payload types such as intelligence, surveillance, reconnaissance, ISR, packages, electronic warfare modules, RF decoys, communication relays, and kinetic warheads. Unlike its reusable counterparts, the Altius 600M functions as a single-use kamikaze drone detonating on impact. Powered by Enduro's Lattice AI control system, these drones can operate in coordinated swarms controlled by a single operator. They communicate with each other to perform complex missions, one drone might scout while another executes a strike. The system can be programmed to loiter until it detects specific signals or targets, alerting the operator who can then decide whether to engage. Palmer Lucky explained that this technology enables operators to conduct precision strikes from a safe distance, minimizing risk. The U.S. Army has tested the Altius drones extensively, including collaborative missions alongside AH-64 Apache helicopters, demonstrating the platform's ability to launch swarms of dozens of drones under one operator's control. The Taiwanese Defense Ministry emphasized that integrating the Altius 600M is part of a larger effort to develop asymmetric and resilient defense capabilities. Minister Chiu underscored the role of the ministry's defense innovation team in evaluating emerging military technologies to meet Taiwan's specific operational needs. He encouraged a shift from traditional doctrines toward modern warfare concepts focused on distributed lethality and autonomy. These drones are expected to extend Taiwan's strike reach and enhance distributed coordination without exposing manned systems to frontline risks. Alongside the Altius 600M, Taiwan's drone arsenal includes 685 switchblade 300 loitering munitions procured through a $360 million U.S. arms deal signed in 2024. Combined, these systems bring Taiwan's attack drone count close to 1,000, providing critical short-term strike capacity for potential high-intensity conflicts. U.S. Indo-Pacific Command officials described this drone strategy as creating a denial layer across the Taiwan Strait, a complex, multi-tiered defense network designed to disrupt amphibious and aerial assaults, buying time for allied reinforcements. This network will integrate domestic drones, kamikaze UAVs, autonomous vessels, and electronic warfare assets. Defense experts warn that insufficient drone procurement risks weakening this deterrent and allowing adversaries to quickly overwhelm Taiwanese forces. Domestically, Taiwan is aggressively expanding its UAV manufacturing industry. The National Chungshan Institute of Science and Technology, NXIST, produces the Qianxiang Anti-Radiation Loitering Munition, 
capable of striking radar targets up to 1,000 km away at speeds of 185 km per hour. Production targets aim for nearly 150 units by 2025, with an annual output of around 48 drones. Other homegrown projects include FPV kamikaze drones like the Overkill, developed jointly by Thunder Tiger and Nxist, which incorporate AI-driven strike software from Materian. Testing wrapped up mid-2025, with plans to license software for up to 25,000 drones, targeting export markets in Southeast Asia desiring non-Chinese components. Despite progress, Taiwan's drone output, estimated at 8,000 to 10,000 units in the year leading up to April 2025, falls short of its ambitious goal of producing 180,000 drones annually by 2028. Challenges such as high costs, limited local procurement, and weak export demand constrain growth. In July 2025, Taiwan's Defense Armaments Bureau launched a massive tender for nearly 49,000 domestically produced drones, to be delivered between 2026 and 2027 at a cost of about $1.4 billion. This order dwarfs 2023's production by over 14 times and covers five types of drones, including vertical takeoff and landing, VTOL, multirotors, long-endurance fixed-wing UAVs, and single-use attack drones for land and maritime missions. The ambitious program aims to rapidly expand Taiwan's unmanned force for both defensive and offensive roles. However, structural hurdles remain. Taiwan lacks production of drone-specific semiconductors and depends heavily on expensive foreign general-purpose chips, often at a disadvantage compared to Chinese suppliers. Moreover, none of Taiwan's drone manufacturers currently appear on the U.S. Department of Defense's approved vendor list, which limits export potential. Analysts caution that without scaling production and securing export channels, Taiwan risks continued reliance on external suppliers during conflict and may never achieve drone self-reliance.